guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i'm filming a poundland haul i feel like it's been a while since i've been into poundland so i saw on their instagram i always follow like loads of bargain homeware stores on instagram because i find as soon as they have a really good new product out I spy it, I go buy it. So anyway, they had quite a few fun little things in for Easter, so I thought I would go have a quick browse and pick up some bits and manage to come up with three bags full, which I thought I would share with you guys. So if you haven't already, make sure you're set and ready with a nice cozy drink of choice, get comfy, relax, put your feet up, light the candles, all that jazz. My front door's just gone, one second. <laughs> A Zara delivery. I think I'm going to do a big Zara spring haul at some point soon because I feel really motivated and inspired to get a load of new spring clothes. Speaking of clothes, this is a bargain sweatshirt, just ten pounds from Boohoo. I'll leave it linked because um, I love it. Let's begin. I don't know if I'm feeling this setup here. I feel like. I interchange it in between videos and I just think it looks a bit too busy, but we're gonna roll with it today. Maybe switch it out for the next video. If you're into reading, a little Sunday reading today, um, they have quite a few books. So I picked up this one, which I'm quite into like thriller, crime, and this one is from the author of the number one Sunday Times bestseller, Maestra. This is called Ultima. Ah, is this a follow on from that or not? I need to look into that, but anyway, $12.99 this retails for, and obviously from Poundland, it is just the bargain price of one pound. Yeah, okay, I've just realized, first there was Maestra, then there was Domina, now there's Ultima. They started it, she'll finish it. So I'm gonna have to buy the other two books. Oh well, moving on. So I'm just gonna go with no method and start with this little Easter decoration. So this is an Easter tree. You bend it into shape. They did have other colours available. I just went for the plain and simple white. And it comes with like a kind of little mesh bag weighted type thing at the bottom. And yeah, the branches kind of bend out. I thought this would be quite good with my little Easter eggs, the little DIY I showed in my White Company dupes video. If you missed it, I'll leave it linked. But essentially, I did a little DIY to create these little hanging Easter egg decorations. And they did actually have some in Poundland as well. I think I bought some just so that I could have some larger eggs. Yeah, here we go. To be able to paint up and decorate. And these ones are actually a paint your own Easter eggs. So obviously they have the paint included, great for if you have kids, crafty thing to do on Easter. I personally, I'm just gonna switch out the little silver ribbon that they have included within it and put the jute kind of string on it and then create the speckles on some, but just keep them white. Maybe paint the others to mix and match in with my neutral kind of shades and either use them on the tree or even just hanging decorations around the house for Easter. I really, really like them. They also work well as table place mat settings, you know, like wrapped around a napkin. Oh my God, as if I've not started with mentioning the fact that the town that I went to, it was in Stockport. They actually had a closing down sale for a Poundland store that they've got there. They have two Poundlands, or they had two Poundlands. It's probably closed by the time you're watching this video because when I went, it was, we are closing now and there was only like a few things left. So all the DVDs were 25p each. So I picked up this one because for me, this is an absolute classic. I will never tire of this movie. And if ever it's not on Netflix or Amazon Prime and I'm just fancying a proper chick flick and a comedy, this literally has me crying with laughter. It's so funny. So 25p. I've always now got the option to watch Brian's Maze if I want to. Okay, another thing they were selling this time at 50p each are these mixer drinks, which firstly, the branding of these is so cool. Um, I picked up all three flavors that they had available and these are skinny mixers they're called, so they're zero calories. This one is in the flavor Mediterranean, so they're like a tonic water. Um, to mix with like gin or whatever. Um, this one is in Indian tonic. And then lastly, this one is pink berry. So you get eight 150 ml cans in each one. And I thought these would just be a good little stockpile to have. If ever fancy a G and T. What else did I get from there? I got this, a Viacal classic lime scale 
just a standard, the original Viacal spray that you can use like on showers and in bathrooms to get rid of any lime scale. This was 37p, how random. A Poundland haul full of products with prices of under a pound. I feel like I need to just, now that I'm on the topic of the bargain closing down store, I need to just share with you everything that I picked up from there. So uh, this was, they had loads of gift cards available for 25p each. And I thought I would get this one because if you know me, I have a little stockpile drawer full of backup cards, gift wrap and everything like that. This card is an engagement card. You're engaged. And inside it just says, congratulations. And I don't actually think I have any engaged cards within my collection. So it's a really, really pretty kind of textured gold and white card. I just loved that. So 25p. They had these umbrellas in different colours. I just went for black and I actually picked up two of these. I thought it'd be quite handy for us to just have these by the front door. So as and when we're running out, one for me and Tommy each. They're just the small black handheld, good for in your bag, on the go. These are 25p each. So again, I could have even bought a bit of a collection. They'd be good for like wedding guests if you're having a wedding around April showers time just as backups to have like a basket full of umbrellas. Or I know we went to one in the summer once and there were white parasols which were beautiful to like shade you from the sun. But anyway, 25p each. I don't know why I'm going to weddings. Probably because of this engagement card, weddings on the brain. Has anyone got any weddings planned here? We do, postponed from last year. So fingers crossed, all goes ahead this year. I think these were the last two bits that I got from the closing down sale. This closing down sale, I said scale because this is called scale away. It's one of these lime scale, descaler type products that are good for like kettles just to help remove any lime scale these were 25p each as well okay that is actually it from the bargain sale so now on to the rest of the actual powerland store finds more pot cleaning products i picked up this harpic toilet block because it's in a new scent that i've never seen or used before and it's in citrus and grapefruit so nice and zesty and fresh smelling perfect for spring and then i also needed to get rid of a really skanky old bathmatic and replace it with a brand new one so i did pick one up these are good for i just actually keep this in the bathroom with a flash bathroom spray so that as and when i'm in there and i noticed it looking a bit i don't know needing a buff and polish or a wipe down, it's already there. I don't have to go down to the, the kitchen or whatever to get the cleaning supplies and then end up forgetting. So yeah, it's a little handy tip there just to keep the bathroom cleaning products actually in the bathroom. We needed a new Febreze pet friendly one. <laughs> I have the lavender one in the bedroom, which I love, but in the room that Barney is in, I quite like to have, it's like peace of mind knowing that I've got the, um, pet friendly, also pet odor eliminating ones. So for on their beds, cushions, he sleeps on the sofa, so on the sofa, the curtains, everything in that room, I use this one. And it does smell really good as well. And then some more products for my stockpile of uh, backup cards, gift wrap, gift bags. I did notice I was running low on gift bags. Tom actually needed one the other day and I was like, yeah, I'll go get one. And then I noticed I didn't have any. So I picked up two more. This one for like a male occasion. It's a really nice dark navy with gold stripes. And then this more sort of generic white confetti looking one. This one again would look quite nice for like a wedding gift. So it just says hip hip hooray on the card. Gold ribbon, nice and simple. Oh, a couple of foodie items just to share. This one, I've never tried this new flavor of Kit Kats. A really good size I find Kit Kats are to have like with a coffee. Speaking of which, let me just, I always forget to have my coffee and then it goes cold in filming videos. I've gone for a toffee nut latte today. Delish. Anyway, as I was saying, Kit Kat, kind of like Nutella style because it is chocolate hazelnut spread flavor. 104 calories per biscuit. And then I got some smooth peanut butter sauce of protein, Sun Valley Nut Company. It's 
smooth peanut butter. I got the, this for, um, I've been loving like baked oats in the morning or overnight oats. Banana and peanut butter is always a good combo. And also peanut butter on rice cakes is a nice little afternoon snack. And then what else did I get? I needed um, to stock up on some more of these for like food prep slash leftovers. Whenever we cook, we always have leftovers. But I also like to use these as and when we've been out and about and I need to take a meal for Barney. He is now on three meals a day, which is a bit more manageable. But when he was on four, if ever we were out and about, I'm like, God, well, we're gonna miss his meal time. So I'm gonna have to take a meal with us. So um, I was using these for that and they do wash up um, and they're good for dishwasher, microwave, freezer safe, leak resistant. Really good for just, for us and for the dog. And oh, they're two different sizes as well, just in case you're interested. This one's actually an eight pack of 650 ml and this one is a four pack of one liter. And then I got this little Kilner jar. I like the fact that it's Kilner, it's a good brand. Um, nice and thick, good quality glass. But I thought this would be nice to have in the cupboard for when I start making my iced coffees because I'm obsessed with iced coffee, especially into spring and summer. Nice glass straw in here, which I've got from Amazon, I think I got my, no, I didn't. I got them from TK Maxx ages ago. Um, TK Maxx or HomeSense, God, I can't wait for them to reopen. I love nothing more than just a aimless browse throughout TK Maxx and Homes. It's one of those stores that you just go to even just to get your step count up. I just love a browser on HomeSense. So anyway, that's that, moving on. I also picked up a toothpaste, which we needed. These are £1.50 from Poundland. How ironic. There's probably been more items within this haul that haven't been a pound than have been a pound from Poundland. And then I've got a couple more treats. These are the last of the foodie items. I've got some Milky Bar cookies and cream. These are so good. And the chocolate bar that they do as well now is just as good. These ones are for Easter, these Reese's little eggs. I've had the ones which were in milk chocolate and loved them. And then I saw them in white chocolate, so I had to pick them up as well. Easter chocolate is just the best, am I right? Last but not least, is a reminiscent purchase that a few of you I'm sure will remember me talking about and it is these melamine plates and bowls that they had last year. They brought out them and then they just disappeared and no one could get their hands on them. So I wonder if they just put in like a pre-order of a few to see how they would sell and then with the intention of next year, i.e. this year, bringing them out for summer. So they're great for outdoor use. They featured in a White Company dupes last summer. They are perfect for like barbecues, outdoor in the garden where you're less precious about them dropping or breaking. So I picked up four of the plates. I already had a couple from last year, so we've got a set of six now. And then same with the bowls, the pasta bowl type. Bowls, absolutely love them. A pound each, I think they're an absolute steal. So yeah, be sure to get your hands on them quick if you do like them, because who knows, maybe there might be a repeat of last year of them selling out again, who knows. They are really nice, so I wouldn't be surprised. But that is everything that I picked up from Poundland. Probably not my biggest haul I've ever done from there, um, but either way, do give me a thumbs up and let me know if you did enjoy it nonetheless. And if you want more Poundland hauls in future, do subscribe and stick around for more. And don't forget to check me out over on Instagram for more regular daily updates over on there. So thank you so much to everyone for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day today, whatever you end up doing. Sunday is one of my favorite days of the week, if not my favorite day of the week. So yeah, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.